All right, how's it going, everybody? We're here to talk about this small rig attachment, and uh, it's the vlog vlogging cold shoe plate for the EOS M62, which I have about a few months ago. So when I'm out uh, cycling, I don't have to carry a big DSLR like I used to. And it's pretty cool. And even with the kit lens, I may at some point get the 11 to 22, or maybe even like the was it the 20 f2 or 22 f2 as well I mean it's pretty cool for that but obviously when you are using it you uh, have like a small what is this the uh, the video micro then of course when you have it plugged in like this if you want better audio then that kind of kind of blocks your view which sucks it just I mean you won't uh, you won't you're uh you want to be able to see yourself and it flipping up like this makes it a lot smaller too I mean obviously there's like the M50 that flips out the side but it's a little bit bigger my 90D it's a DSLR but it flips out the side so I have like the mic on top here I have the screen over here but even, I'm keeping that mainly in the studio or like more professional photo and video stuff like when I shoot weddings and stuff or I'm going out to do, because I have more lenses for that and I haven't bought the converter for this yet. But I also want to keep this kind of a, a lightweight kind of like travel vlogging camera so I may stick with just the, uh, the mirrorless glass for this. Then buy a converter if I need to use... Because these two have the, the 90D and the M62 have like the same sensor. It's like a 32 megapixel sensor, which is it's a high pixel sensor for an APS-C camera. And then it shoots 4K with dual pixel autofocus. So that's nice as well. But <clears throat> even when I'm using this as a second camera, I still would like to... If I have like a second camera like up here as another angle, I still would like to be able to see the screen. For some reason, it stopped recording for whatever reason. And the... Uh, mics in the way because you still want some good scratch audio if you need to use it as a backup so I was looking around and they had one that like stuck in here then it kind of went over here and did something which I didn't like the idea of it doing kind of maybe being in the way I'm not entirely sure but I got the uh, we're gonna like unbox this one and give it a look it seems to kind of like sit on the bottom here We'll get to it, and uh, you're able to have a cold shoe on the bottom and on the side, and it has some more uh, holes here because you got to screw it into this obviously to keep it in place. But it has like a whole bunch of holes here, so hopefully you can still put your tripod there if you want to have it as a vlogging camera. Then you have your mic to either the bottom or the side, so you can still flip it up. Then I'm hoping too. Because I like to keep it lightweight, so I will stick it into this little uh, Low Pro bag I have here, which is like a perfect fit for this M62 and the kit lens. Uh, I'll link this in the description if you want to check this bag out as well. It's got a little like pocket, but like extra memory cards and stuff. But I would like as well to be able to like still put it in there with this attachment on there, so we'll try that out as well open this I believe at the time of purchase I paid, I think it was like $23 for this. Oh yeah, it comes with the, uh, what it looks like in a little bubble bag. Like that. Then kind of small, they have like other, like kind of off-brand, third-party kind of brands, but small rigs kind of known, so I figured I'd go with pay a little bit extra more. And it also has like a built-in, uh, they call it like a built-in screwdriver. Okay, so I was wondering how it stayed in place. So it has like three little tiny magnets here. See that there? 
three little tiny magnets there. This little piece of metal. So I'm assuming they're probably like neodymium magnets, which is like strong earth magnets. But I wonder if you... I guess not. I was trying to see if you can just jar it off. I'll take that as a no then. And then plus when I got the plate, it'll probably be in place there. So I was wondering how they were going to have that because it didn't really... I didn't know if it like slid into place. <laughs> so it says M6 uh, Mark II, and there's BUC2517. Some kind of something I'm not entirely sure about down here where the cold shoe is uh, at. Then we got the, I don't know what they call it, like Swiss cheese plate on the bottom as well. Alright, so. Let's put it on here. So it should be pretty simple. We'll just uh then the with the one I was talking about on top is like a you suck into the uh hot shoe here, which means you couldn't use the EVF, which I didn't like. Then you also kinda had like a little bolt, you had to bolt it over here. So I think this one's a better this may weigh a little bit more if you're worried about like actual like gram per gram weight. I'm not that concerned about that, so we'll put it on here. And it seems to, you can see here, it kind of, it seems to like have like a lip here that like snugs, or like holds snug against this. So we can see this little kind of lip here, hopefully, like right, right here. So let's put it on. We'll use the built-in. I believe they call it a screwdriver as well. Then, like I said, small rig is kind of a more of a name brand. They have like full cages, half cages, all kinds of stuff. And. You can still open the, because on the M62 the battery and the memory card are in the bottom. You still have full access to that, so that's nice. I can get it back in here. And then they've like built and molded this perfectly to the bottom of this, as you can see. And it's like, uh, I'm not sure what type of metal it is. Maybe it's aluminum. I'm not sure if it says. Maybe I'll look in and... But it's, it's not like a cheap plastic, so that's nice. So, we'll test out the vlogging. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it really matters where... I guess maybe this one right here will give you the most uh, contact surface. But like I said, I'm not... What did I say? This one? No, this one. Then we can put our... Dead cat's good for outside. Let's just take it off for... And you could put it there if you wanted to, but I think more than likely it'll be... Okay, so... With the hot shoe, it like kind of slides in in one direction, then you have like a lip here on top. But it seems with these, it's like there's no lip. So you can slide it in whichever way that you want to, then you just tighten it in, which isn't that big of an issue. Then uh, you got the flap here. So that's kind of a little issue, but that's more with the, the, the mic screw hole, if you want to call it that. I mean, at this point, maybe I can even possibly get like a shorter cable that just goes like that. Like flip it up, open this, and we're on record button and see how this 
sounds with the mic. It's a little bit of, you see a little bit of a, they kind of got all those, all those lights. Actually, if you're curious, I made a quick video. It's like five or six minutes maybe explaining my lighting setup, if you're curious about that. But yeah, I mean, that kind of solves that issue. If you want to go lighter, there's a smaller, I got the Manfrotto EV, whatever it is. I got like the bigger one for the DSLR, but I'm contemplating, because this one was like 45 or 50, I believe, because I got it for my 80D, 90D, so it's a big chunkier one. But they have a smaller one for around 25 bucks. I'm thinking about purchasing solely for the small mirrorless camera. So, that's how that goes. And then of course I'll, uh, I will try this out the next time I'm out. Although, where I'm at, it's extremely cold. So I don't know when the next time exactly I may be going out. I'm kind of contemplating... Because I wonder if I'd have found a smaller or something even smaller than this. I thought about getting the, uh, what is it, the Rode Wireless Go. What's like the, the lav mic. What's like the little part you slide on there then you have like the one on you. I thought about looking into that because I think that may be pretty useful if you really want to go like lightweight vlogging. I kind of want to test it out as well. But yeah, so far so good. Seems to be durable. Uh... It's metal, but it's light enough. It's not cheap plastic. And uh, I'll give it a try at some point in time, like I said, when I go out the next time. Or even when I'm, even as a second camera. Uh, if you like this, uh, you can give me a like. If you really liked it, you can subscribe. I'm trying to do more of these. Although I keep saying that, but like where I'm working a lot right now, I'm, I'm like kind of filming and editing on the weekends. I may switch it up in the future. I'm contemplating about uh, quitting one thing and doing some other stuff because I want to do this and art more full time. I'm just trying to get myself set up financially where I can have a cushion, so so to speak. And it's it's definitely kind of iffy in these times to also just kind of jump from a job that's like a kind of paycheck every week to something that may or may not pay. So. But yeah, I'm trying to, I think I need to get YouTube to at least the thousand subscribers so I can start getting like at least a little bit from them. And that would kind of ease my fears and I like jump into it more full time. But yeah, there's uh, that. Uh, like I said, small rig vlogging cold shoe plate for Canon EOS M6 Mark II BUC2517. All right, peace. I got a little rambling. All right, have fun. Actually, really quick, I forgot to do the thing I was talking about doing. Take that off. Have that. Put that down. I was wanting to see if it actually works in that bag. So this is how it is. A little bit of extra heft. So I'm assuming it's going to fit in the bag. Alright, cool. Yeah, so it fits in the bag. So I guess if you suck around to the after credit section, you're able to see if it went in the bag. And it did. So that's good. Which, uh, if you've seen me do the Uber Eats stuff, I kind of don't even use a microphone. I just use the onboard mics. But, uh, we'll see how that goes. Alright, cool. Now actually buy later.